So thank you everyone that watched part one of this WrestleMania 31 Q&A. It's on to part two now. Jonathan Pittman's going to kick us off by asking, could the buildup for WrestleMania 31 have benefited from having a past superstar appear as guest hosts like The Rock at 27 or Hogan last year? This show could be benefiting from a lot of different things. Would this have been a bad thing to have some type of guest host? It wouldn't have hurt. You wouldn't think. Just saying. So I'm with you. Could have used that. Could have used a lot of different things. Chris Duckworth. Is WWE treating Daniel Bryan like a mid-carder by putting him in the mid-card title feud? Yes. Especially because they are featuring him like he doesn't matter all that much, just like WWE does with most of their mid-carders not named The Miz. Oh, he's clearly gotten the mid-card treatment in this. That's for damn sure. Richie James, I know this is not a WrestleMania 31 question, but I'm generally in you interested if you have seen the short film Wrestling Isn't Wrestling that came out this week. If so, what are your thoughts on how God's career is portrayed? Um, I will say I have watched it, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And of course, if you're going to do a video about wrestling that is going to get some big time mainstream attention go semi-viral if you will i guess if anything else if not fully viral um there's no better choice than god to be who the story and the sh entire flick centers around it seemed appropriate and it seemed pretty much factual to me shame the wwe's all butthurt about it because god forbid it's an attempt at humor oh no it has the name wrestling, because the title not once but twice. Wrestling isn't wrestling. It should be sports entertainment is sports entertainment. Ah, oh, shut the fuck up. Ah, oh, goddammit. Have some fun. You can't be comfortable being parodied. What the fuck can you be? Shows just how really, truly childish, immature, and insecure the WWE is. I mean, it's not bad enough that they're asked, demanding that fans change out of their... Uh, wrestler costumes at Raw and taking away too many pro Daniel Bryan signs to the point now where they're telling their wrestlers and their talents to not talk about or tweet about the wrestling isn't wrestling parody video. What the fuck for? It's fucking funny. It's humorous. It's about God. You're just mad because you didn't think of it first. Kenny Ward, which match should be the curtain jerker? The IC title match or the Andre the Giant Battle Royal? Um, God, great question. Uh, I'd probably go with the Battle Royal. I think I'd go with the Battle Royal. I'd want to put that IC title ladder match a little bit higher, maybe third or fourth on the card when I might need it. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal would probably be the best way to start off this particular show if I was slotting everything together based off the way it is. Jason Devereaux, who did you initially see challenging Brock Lesnar in the WrestleMania 31 main event? If you could call an audible, um, who or what would you have changed about the main event that we are getting or stuck with? Um, I mean, I could have envisioned for months and months that Reigns was going to win the Rumble. I was envisioning this before the 2014 Royal Rumble, that Reigns would win the 2015 Royal Rumble. Um, biggest change I would have made is I would have put Cena in the match as the champion, not Lesnar. With that being the hope, at least, that Cena could have gotten the crowd behind Reigns. I still think that's the better match and would have had the better dynamics and would have actually literally been the better in-ring action wrestling match than Reigns versus Lesnar. Um, there's a lot of different dynamics that I would have changed about Lesnar versus Reigns. Uh, what really hurt Reigns was any momentum he had was lost when he went out for three months with that hernia. That should have been the time that he was feuding with a Triple H, maybe having a match with Triple H. Um, that really, really hurt. And... As far as Reigns and Lesnar, I would have made sure that we went right away after the Rumble into Reigns versus Lesnar. I would also try to give more reasons for Lesnar to be hateable, not likable, with some of the things I may have done. Brandon Leslie, should the WWE title match at WrestleMania 31 be Daniel Bryan versus Roman Reigns? No. J just no. 
No. No, no, no. We'll leave it at that. James White, do you think that Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar has the potential to be as bad of a match as Lesnar versus Goldberg, and are they going to have Rollins cash in to make the crowd happy? The Rollins cashing in to make the crowd happy is a possibility. I don't know if it's likely, but it is a possibility, and I think it's something that is being considered and needs to be considered and has to be considered. Do I think Reigns versus Lesnar is going to be as bad this time around as uh, Lesnar versus Goldberg was 11 years ago? Hell no. Because at least you know going into it that Reigns is going to care. And I will get the feeling that Lesnar will care at least a little bit more if this is going to be his last match this time around. Um, Reigns will at least care. Back in 2004, Lesnar and Goldberg didn't give a fuck. That was a dangerous component. It was a dangerous thing. And uh, as a result, I think this match would ultimately work out to be better. Uh, Keon Jones, do you think WWE will pull WrestleMania 28 and have Stinger the Undertaker challenge each other a year in advance for WrestleMania 32? I think it's a possibility. I don't know how likely. I think they should. I really think they should. It wouldn't hurt. Juan Carlos Alcantara, do you think Lana will turn on Rusev and help Cena get the win at WrestleMania 31? For all we know, we don't even know that Lana's going to be there at WrestleMania 31. But if she is, it, it's not so much of a turn on Rusev. It just might be she cost Rusev the match. Um, and that would be stupid. Mark Whalen, would you prefer Sting to squash Triple H at WrestleMania 31? Or would you prefer Triple H to kick Sting's ass only to have a Cena-esque comeback victory for the Stinger? Uh, you can't have Sting squash him. You can't have Sting squash him because that doesn't work. And Triple H just flat out kicking his ass the entire time doesn't work either. It just needs to be a give-and-take affair with Sting coming out on top. Michael Cohen, what should main event this WrestleMania? Uh, as I referenced in the first Q&A video, you know, I'm starting to think that maybe Sting versus Triple H should. It might be the safest and best option the WWE has, <clears throat> especially if they're not going to have Seth Rollins cash in and win the title at the end of the night. Brian Yule, is there any chance that this year's show will be middle of the pack to good? There's always a chance. I mean, <clears throat> you could get Orton and Rollins could be a kick-ass match. Uh, people could be infatuated by the spots that they see in the IC title match. You could get the Andre the Giant ba Memorial Battle Royal has some good moments in. A guy that deserves to win wins in an impressive way. Uh, you know, Cena and Rusev could be good. Wyatt and Taker could surprise. I mean, Triple H versus Sting could rock the house, and Lesnar versus Reigns could surprise. Oh, there's a chance. I still think it's a very good one, but there's always a chance, sure. And if, if a lot of things align correctly and a lot of the stars align properly, it could happen. It could happen that it ends up being a good show, but a good show self-contained within itself. The build-up to it would have still been lackluster. The follow-up would still be critical to it. I mean, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, Brian Yule, your thoughts on Sting finally opening up his mouth on the WWE Network exclusively, and how big will Smokey smile if Henry wins the Battle Royal at Mania? Well, you can only imagine how big Smokey would smile about that. As far as Sting finally opening up his mouth, uh, that probably should have already happened by now. Uh, Brian Yule, if you could attend this year's Mania for 50% off tickets, would you? Yes, because I've still never been to a WrestleMania. It would still be WrestleMania, and I'd like to be able to put that on my bucket list of things that I've done in my life. And still, as a WWE and wrestling fan, I wouldn't feel like a real WWE or wrestling fan if someday I didn't experience WrestleMania live and in person. So, yes, I would definitely go 50% off tickets, no question. Ben Scott, safe to say this will be the lowest watched bought WrestleMania ever, what with the lack of network subscribers and probably a very small amount of pay-per-view buys. Um... <clears throat> If we are to believe the WWE's actual numbers of 1 million subscribers, I don't know if I fully believe that or not, but let's just say that they are telling the truth. Let's say they're around 1.1 million, 1.2 million subscribers, and then you get maybe another between maybe 30 to 40 domestic, thousand domestic buys, maybe a little more, uh, 100,000 or so international buys, you know, it's not going to be the lowest watched or bought WrestleMania ever. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. 
Uh, Anthony Weyer, do you think Undertaker's return as a dead man could be a play to just have him come out as the American badass motorbike and all? Let's continue with this ridiculous question by Anthony Weyer asking, playing on how Brock killed the dead man, etc., would it work? Perhaps henceforth all his matches would be in his badass character. American badass Taker was stupid. Stupid. We don't ever need to see it again. So no, he shouldn't come back as the American badass Taker, because that'd even be more ridiculous. Uh, Son Goshaku, if Summer was still alive and was watching SmackDown last week with Summer, what would have been both of their reactions to Roman owning Mark Henry? Uh, Smokey would have made sure that he put Mark Henry in the best possible of lights, you know, because... Mark Smokey understood. He's a business cat. He was a business cat. He would have understood. He'd have been telling Summer that Roman needs to learn respect and he has to earn it. And Mark Henry was trying to teach him with some tough love. And then Summer would have been talking about Roman Reigns and his hair and his muxels and his Samoan stud muffins, whatever. Um, Sean McGlinchey, do you think the WWE have deliberately thrown WrestleMania under the bus a la 27 so they can focus more on 32 next year? Or is it just a case of shit booking that smells like roses to the deluded Vince McMahon? I think a lot of it is that second part, and part of it will end up being that first part that 31 gets thrown under the bus for 32. You know, when can you think of the time where WWE really had really good back-to-back -back WrestleManias? Tends to be that way. So... You know, a lot of people really, really enjoyed last year's. Therefore, I wouldn't expect too much out of this year's show. Uh, mean Matt, Dog Boy, Master Cap. Do you think Sting should job to Triple H? No, in no uncertain terms. Do I think Sting in any way, shape, or form should be considering entertaining or thinking about jobbing to Triple H? It needs to be Triple H jobbing to Sting. Period. Matt Mefe, does WrestleMania 31 have the worst buildup for a WrestleMania? Um... Oh, WrestleMania 27 was the drizzling shits. I'm talking about in terms of recent WrestleManias. It was just god-awful and bad. I mean, that, that was pretty bad. Uh, WrestleMania 9 was also terrible in the build-up department, too. So, yeah. Mario, the King of Hearts, Al Simi. At WrestleMania 31, is it likely that Seth Rollins will walk out of Santa Clara, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? Uh, I think it's... A possibility. I don't. I wouldn't put it in the likely category, but I think it's a possibility, and it's a possibility they should entertain. Uh, Tomas Adams, would you jizz yourself if Sting Taker squared off at WrestleMania 31? Yes, yes, I would. Yes. Uh, Joseph at Gomez Zombie, which entrance of the Undertaker's American Badass did you like the most when he came out to Kid Rock or Limp Biscuit? Uh, are you looking forward to seeing CM Punk debut in UFC? Two things I don't like to talk about. CM Punk and Badass Taker. You asked questions about both of them. No, I'm not looking forward to seeing CM Punk in UFC because I don't give a fuck. As far as American Badass Taker, I don't like any of it. I thought they were all fucking stupid. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Ah, shut up. Samuel Shepard. Which young star, apart from Big Show and Kane, would most benefit from a WrestleMania moment? <laughs> um, uh. Ryback Sean Anderson wouldn't it be a great idea for Sting and Undertaker to come face to face after one of their matches at Wrestlemania uh, the next night on Raw I could, I could argue that you, know, you have Sting come out to talk People afraid that this might be his only match, and he says that he wants to do it one more time, but there's only one thing he has left to do in his career, and then, you know, cue the gong, cue taker. Uh, that would be the only other thing I could think of. So, anyways, thanks to you guys that submitted all your questions. Sorry I couldn't get through more of them, but I don't want to do four or five parts of this WrestleMania 31 Q&A. Probably we'll do another WrestleMania 31 Q&A via Twitter and Facebook uh, in the middle of next week. So stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for some other videos here on OTR Central as well.